On September 16, 2023, Kevin Young's former world record of 46.78 seconds in the 400 meter hurdles was no longer a top 10 mark all time. Since 2018, the men's 400 meter hurdles has taken a drastic step up that is arguably unprecedented when talking about multiple athletes putting down all time marks in the same event at the same time. And since Kevin Young broke the barrier back in 1992, We've now seen an additional four athletes run sub 47 seconds, a total of 20 times in the past five years. So let's quickly take a look back at the event and break down how the men's 400 meter hurdles completely changed in just a few short years. In 1992, Kevin Young ran a 400 meter hurdle world record of 46.78 seconds at the Barcelona Olympic Games. As the years went on, that stood as not only one of the strongest records in the sport, but it eventually became the longest standing men's world record on the track. But in 2018, almost 26 years after it had been set, we started to see some potential threats of the record being taken down. On June 8th, 2018, Rye Benjamin of the United States ran 47.02 seconds in the final of the NCAA championship chips. That made him number two all time in the event and just pushing up against the 47 second barrier. But just a few weeks later on June 30th, 2018, Abdurrahman Samba of Qatar managed to run a huge time of 46.98 seconds. That made him just the second person in history to ever break the 47 second barrier and truly made people's heads turn on what might be possible when talking about the 400 meter hurdles. Fast forward to 2019 and that trend of progression continues in the event. Both Rai Benjamin and Carson Warholm got extremely consistent during the early season, having run 40 47.16 as well as 47.12 respectively. Then at the 2019 Diamond League final in Zurich, we would see both Benjamin and Warholm become the first two men to ever break 47 seconds in the same race. Warholm ran a time of 46.92 seconds just ahead of Benjamin's 46.98, both of them breaking the 47 second barrier and both of them potentially threatening that world record from 1992. At this point, the writing was kind of on the wall that the world record was on borrowed time having just seen three guys break the 47 second barrier over the past two years and it was only a matter of time as they were just getting better. Now despite the pandemic in 2020, Warholm chose to attack the later half of the season and actually attempt to capture that world record. With a string of four races at 47.10 or better, his best race came at the Stockholm Diamond League where he ran 46.87 seconds, not only the second fastest time ever, but less than a tenth of a second off that world record performance. Additionally, Warholm actually hit the tenth and final hurdle before he went on to run that time, meaning that he very likely could have gotten closer if not surpassed Kevin Young's record. So just to quickly recap, at the end of the 2020 season, Kevin Young's world record of 46.78 seconds was the first time anyone had ever broken the 47 second barrier and still stood as a record 28 years later after it was set. While now in the three seasons between 2018, 19, and 2020, three new men had broken the 47 second barrier and they had done it a total of four times. And now as we enter the 2021 Olympic year, we knew that the world record was very much within reach as these guys were getting faster and faster and faster. And Rai Benjamin, he was the first up to go for another attack, having run 46.83 seconds at the US Olympic trials, moving him now to number two all time and just five hundredths of a second off that world record. But just a few days after Rai Benjamin, we would see Carson Warholm running at the Oslo Diamond League and in front of a home crowd in Norway, he took down the 29 year old record running 46.70 seconds, taking just eight hundredths of a second off that record. And with Warholm finally getting over that barrier, he opened the door for a plethora of other guys to take a shot at Kevin Young's mark and this was just the beginning. At those 2021 Olympic Games, Karsten Warholm and Rai Benjamin would obliterate the record books with Warholm running 45.94 seconds to not only break his own world record but to break the 46 second barrier the first time anyone had ever gotten close or surpassed it. You know, I just want to start with saying, you know, in front of both Alison and uh, and Roy, the things that I've been saying through the press zone is like, with all respect for all athletes, I think there's a lot of athletes that are not that good that will get an Olympic gold. You know, Roy Benjamin running 46-17, you know, he would deserve a gold medal and, uh, and it's crazy. And also, you know, Alison running super times. It's, I think it's just an honor to be, to be a part of it and, uh, I never thought in my wildest imagination that, it would, that this would be possible. 
and just behind him, Rye Benjamin ran 46.17 seconds, also breaking the previous world record by a massive amount. And not only them, Alison Dos Santos from Brazil also got under Kevin Young's previous world record, running 46.72 seconds for third place. So in the span of just one year and really just a couple months in 2021, we saw Kevin Young go from world record holder in the 400 meter hurdles to the number four performer and number five performance all time. In 2022, Warholm dealt with some injury that unfortunately kept him from competing to his previous best. But in addition to Rye Benjamin and Dos Santos running sub 47 seconds multiple times, Dos Santos drastically improved his personal best to 46.29 seconds at the 2022 World Championships. That moved him further down the all-time list, now with the third best performance in history. And it actually pushed Kevin Young's mark down to number six all-time. That I dream with win, that, that win with today, with one day that I can come to the World Championship and fight the, for the gold medal. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm really, really proud about my progress in the 400 meter hurdles. And not about just me, about the guys too, because we did it a good job today, you know. I could come to here and run really, really so fast. That's is pretty awesome for us. And now in 2023, that former world record mark was pushed even further down the list. Carson Warholm was back healthy and ran times of 46.76, 46.53, and 46.51, while Benjamin ran 46.62. That set Kevin Young at number 10 all time, meaning it was a matter of when, not if he would be kicked out of the top 10 in history. And it didn't take long as we now circle back to the 2023 Diamond League final here in Eugene. Rye Benjamin ran 46.39, while Karsten Warholm ran 46.53 seconds. That finally moved Kevin Young's world record mark of 46.72 off the top 10 all-time performances to the number 12 slot. I was just like, I got out. I was like, dang, these guys are moving. And my race plan just was to go 13s all the way. Ended up running 12s to four because I was just, kind of behind and I just opened up a little bit and I looked up the field and I was like man these guys are like I let them go and it was just playing the rundown game from there like I said coach Watts told me just to run home run off the turn like be the right Benjamin I know you are so that was just kind of like my uh, my my execution cue so I did that just that and I just felt like a gust coming off a 10 and just ran home so that was just it so looking back in June of 2021 Kevin Young held the longest standing men's track world record at 46.78 seconds in the 400 meter hurdles from all the way back in 1992 and now in just a few short years we've seen three men surpass that mark a total of 11 times now we should never forget that legendary mark that Kevin Young set all the way back in 1992 but with guys like Ryan Benjamin, Carson Warholm, Alison Dos Santos, and a couple others who are at 27 years old or younger, it seems they are in no rush to slow down and will continue to produce some of the fastest marks in 400 meter hurdle history. Thanks for watching. We're elevating the event. It's exciting. You know, everyone's running fast now. Just uh, keep, keep an eye out on our event and uh, just bring the checks, bring blank checks, okay, for all of us. So, yeah. Amen.